This is Melissa McGinnis with Long Beach Local News. We're at World Famous VIP Records today. We're with the owner, Kelvin Anderson. Kelvin has an update for us. Last time we were here, we were talking about a petition that was going around to be signed, helping Kelvin collaborate with the city on making a museum here in Central Long Beach. The sign was being threatened of maybe changing hands, changing ownership. The mayor has stepped in to help Kelvin. You had a meeting with the mayor yesterday. Tell us about that. Yeah, I had a great meeting with the mayor yesterday, and, and we uh, uh, talked about a lot of things, and uh, the mayor is very supportive on uh, my situation as far as uh, my goal and legacy here in Long Beach. Uh, there's a little confusion out there. Uh, this petition was a petition for me to move forward with building a uh, museum and creative arts center here in Long Beach. and. Uh, that was what I was asking for support for, to be able to sit down and present that to the mayor. Uh, we found out that uh, that paperwork had already been put together to uh, basically have the world-famous VIP record sign designate a historical landmark without my knowledge, consent, or anything. So we found that out last Thursday after the mayor received all the information regarding uh, that the owner of the property is not claiming ownership of the sign. So uh, he uh, he's now delaying the uh, furtherance of trying to have the sign designate a historical landmark. He did, though, give me the pros and cons of what it would do for the sign if it is a historical landmark. Uh, so we are now looking over all of the options and uh, reviewing that and seeing which way we're going to move forward. But uh, he said that he had full support. He he uh, that I have his full support in this, and that uh, he will be uh, waiting and supporting me on what I would like to do with my sign. What's so great about this story is that the mayor has made it very clear, which it was ambiguous before, that you are in fact the owner of the sign and that you get to decide if it's going to be a historic landmark or if it's going to be a museum. You have full autonomy to do what you want with it. Yes, and that's very important to me uh, because uh, the sign means everything to me. Uh, this community and this city means a lot to me and, you know, the fact that we can move forward in a positive manner and creative manner uh, it was a great thing. So I'm overjoyed and I really appreciate the mayor and uh, the meeting yesterday. So it's all up from now. We are so excited for you, and we want to thank our viewers also who voiced their opinion in support of Kelvin. The mayor listened and stepped up and actually made it very clear Kelvin is the owner of the sign, and what's to become of VIP Records is kind of up in the air. They're weighing all their options. They'd like it to be a museum and a cultural arts center, so stay tuned to Long Beach Local News for updates on what's to become of VIP Records, but for now, it definitely is owned by Kelvin Anderson. We, we just appreciate that so much, and thank you to the mayor, Mayor Garcia. Thank you, and, and thanks for all the work you guys do and, and all your support.